Thank you. Uh, so I will try to squeeze 13 years into three minutes now, talking about the recovery of the carbon balance of a regrowing forest. Uh, forests are carbon sinks. They can take up CO2 from the atmosphere and store carbon in the soil. But uh, the uptake is not the only flux we have in the forest. We also have a respiration from different parts of the ecosystem. And it's the balance between uptake and respiration that determines the strength of the carbon sink. So what happens if we harvest the forest? Well, we take away the sink and we are left with the respiration from the soil and from the dead wood. And we will even get uh, an additional respiration flux by disturbance of the soil. Uh, eventually the forest will grow up again and create a new carbon sink. And uh, then even the disturbance effect will disappear after a while. And the question is, how long will that take and how much carbon will be lost from the ecosystem during that clear-cut phase? So we went to a clear-cut and we measured the movement of CO2 in the air above the clear-cut, 20 times a second for 13 years. And uh, yes, this is my daughter there. And just as she grew, <laughs> so did the forest. And uh, if, when we then accumulate all the movements of CO2 in the air, we can determine the carbon balance of the clear-cut. And this is how it looks like. It's uh, accumulative CO2 fluxes, an upgoing curve, that means we have losses into the atmosphere by several tons per hectare every year. And uh, we passed some milestones on the way. We had soil scarification, and uh, then we had uh, the closure of the canopy when the, the uptake uh, got more prominent. And then finally, the, the emissions peaked after 13 years, and the, the uh, clear cut turned into a carbon sink again. And during these 13 years, we have lost about 64% of, the, of uh, the whole carbon that was in the forest soil. So it's a major part. So what does that mean for the, for the forest as a whole? Well, we can again take our fluxes now in, in an annual sums of uh, CO2 and relate them to fluxes of older forests in the same area. They look like that. And then we can fit a curve to that and we get a line showing us the, the carbon balance over the forest's life cycle with losses, the red areas, and uptake, the green area. And we know already the transition from source to sink took place after 13 years. And then we can even integrate that curve and by that determine the uh, point in time when the losses were compensated by uptake. That was after 32 years then. So it takes 32 years for the system to get into balance again. This, this is a very powerful graph. There's much more information in that actually, but for now, the messages are 64% of soil carbon is lost during the clear-cut phase, and 13 is a lucky number. Thank you.